This video is presented by EA Game Changers. Special thanks to EA for allowing me to have early access to this event. Hello my beautiful buddies and welcome back to Rebuilding Strange Town. Today we are with the Beaker family. So now before I go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about them, um, I went ahead and showed off in like the second part of this video I went ahead and then showed you guys some of the new items and things like that because I did start doing this greatest sim before the pack actually was um what was like launched and then then you see me go ahead and add add more to them and things like that um so you're gonna see like a little bit of change in the background and things like that and you're gonna definitely see in like a minute or so like when when I actually got the pack um but yeah I want to start off by talking to you guys a little bit about um a little bit about the beakers so the beakers um are of course another family strange child from the sims 2 um and we're starting out with i think her name is circuit beaker um and circuit and loki are two people <laughs> that i'm that they are together and they are living in this like really like interesting labish looking house so it'll be definitely interesting and fun to create with all the new strange town items um but yeah they're they are living in this like labish kind of house and they are doing experiments on this um, man called Nervous Subject. Now, if you guys think back to when I was doing my, um, sh my Spectre family, yeah, the Spectre family created him. I told you guys that all the Spectre, like the old woman, I'll leave a link to it if you guys haven't seen it. Um, she's a little, she's a little cray, guys. She's a little cray, um, to say the least. <laughs> and she killed so many of her family members and so many people just to see the Grim Reaper because she was encapsulated by him. She was in love with him. Um, and they had a love child named, um, Nervous. So, there's kind of been speculation, there's conspiracy whether Nervous volunteered himself or that Olive actually went ahead and sold him um, for a science experiment to the Beakers. But in my mind, I always kind of think it was a second option. I always see it as like Olive sold him um, because if you really, really look, it really kind of shows that like she really doesn't care very much about not many people. That she kind of seems kind of selfish to me. At least that's the character that I get from Olive. Um, and because of that, I that nervous grew up in a very like weird kind of situation because he. Um, because he grew up in this place where he was always being probed and looked at and things like that. And he wasn't really thought of a real person. And because of it, he, like, ended up being, like, really paranoid. And he's, like, insane and things like that. And I think definitely, too, um, that making him infected would be kind of interesting. Let me know if you guys, when I go ahead and set up the save file, if you want me to infect him, too. Um, because I think it will kind of, like, you know, go ahead and stir some drama. <laughs> And now you can see me here. I I got finally I got access um to the game um and I started like like just playing around with all the new things and seeing if they would fit her and things like that. Um but yeah, Circuit has a job in the medical career, so like this isn't her like main thing um per se, but Loki um who really looks like a really evil guy. Like he's has like some crazy eyebrows and this crazy mustache, and I did my best to like really kind of make that same thing here um but yeah now you see me working um nervous first and he's got like this giant mohawk <laughs> that's like super funny and yeah anyway going back to loki like i was saying his character is all about like finding uh, about like nervous and like how is he alive like how is he the grim reaper son like you know all about that weird stuff and um he is a scientist so this is like his like main thing and i always thought of his character as like very very i always i thought of circuit and kind of loki to be very very mean to this i'm not mean to like nervous but i don't think either one of them are like evil per se they're just mean to him in a way that seems like very sheltered and very like clinical you know like there's something really weird about having a man in like basically like living in your basement and like you know like doing science experiments it's like very cruel you know um and because of that 
Um, he has a friend named Pascal Curious, Nervous does. And you'll guys meet the Curious Brothers later down the line. The Curious Brothers are really, really interesting. Um, one of them is actually pregnant with an alien baby and is super duper funny. But yeah, um, you guys will see that later. I'll talk about them later. But yeah, um, and because of that, like he kind of like sticks up for Nervous and Loki like and him are enemies and things like that. So that is like really, really interesting. Um, so yeah, this definitely was a good family to like go ahead and like open cast with for like strange for like strange um Irville. and i went ahead and did some research and i found out too that a lot of the items for the military career and things like that like all cast items and that like weird like hat thing that's like a strainer like um you you can actually get those by unlocking them in game so there is more creative sim items but you kind of have to go and look for them and i thought that was like really really interesting too so that'll be definitely something fun to experiment with if we ever decide to do like a strange town let's play and i'm not gonna lie to you guys like i want to do a let's play for like all the worlds i create i don't know if i want to do the save file first and then do the let's plays or what but we'll see we'll see um and yeah that's basically the gist of the family um but yeah i actually want to go ahead and talk to you guys now about the creative theme items and what i think of it and things like that and um as you can see too like there's just like a lot of really good good pieces for females and males surprisingly with this pack that i didn't really expect to like really for them to come with it like i thought they were going to be like all military items and science items and things like that but we actually got some really really nice staples so if you're like looking for some just nice staples in your game for females and males then you got them um for for children they do get a couple of items and things like that um no, no nothing for the toddlers but i do really think that this pack really isn't really meant for kind of like toddlers and children really that much i really think it's like kind of like a teen and up kind of thing um yeah i think it's like really really interesting too because like you can have so many different storylines and i was actually watching um i was watching the sims play actually play a little bit with um sim guru romeo and i seen that he um yeah, like he like compared to this game to like the Sims stories um, and like Sims castaway stories and things like that. So if you guys ever um, have played those games, you guys will like know what I'm talking about. But yeah, he like compared the compared it to that, and I only watched like a few minutes of it because I didn't want any spoilers myself. Um, but yeah, I thought it was super duper interesting that he made that comparison because like with the little pop ups in the corner and things like that, I definitely see the parallels to that, and I really really enjoy things that have. A bit of a storyline element to it. I really, really like that. Um, so I definitely think it's really, really interesting. Um, but yeah, sound off in the comments down below if you guys are gonna get this pack. Make sure you follow me on all my social media, including my blog down below. Um, I believe that we still have like a couple more minutes until this like recording is up. <laughs> but yeah, don't forget that. I also too want to get back on the Twitch scene. It's been so a while since I streamed for you guys, but definitely can do some like fun things like with the save file i can stream with you guys um especially too with like the other houses that aren't like a townie townie houses but yeah um i'll talk to you guys later and i'll see you soon okay bye 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 Mwah. hey guys i'm back again thank you so much if you stuck around to this point to hear about the giveaway um this giveaway is for my subscribers you do have to be subscribed please don't be one of those people that subscribe and unsubscribe afterwards i welcome new people with open arms but it's just not nice when people do that so to enter, all you have to do is go and follow the link in the description. It will be a link to this website called Gleam. I did it once before. And there it will ask you for your name and your email address and to, to subscribe to my channel. There are optional um, entries too if you want to higher chances. If you do want to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. Um, otherwise, um, you could just do the YouTube one. It just, it's up to you. Um, but I do appreciate those options as well. Um, and with that said, I also want you to go ahead and leave me down in the comment section your your first name with your like last initial so I know who you are from Gleam and your Instagram or Twitter. Be just because Gleam doesn't ask you for your like your social media handles like um, Twitter or um, you know Instagram and I find those way easier to contact people with just because I find that people don't 
check their email as fast as they do as social media. If you don't have them, don't fret. I can still email you, but I would prefer though if you did ask like a family member or friend, just so it's easier for me, um, as well as a comment. I want to want you guys um, to leave down below. What worlds would you like to see after I finish recreating all the Sims 2 worlds? Like we still have Ronneville after Strange Town, of course, but which ones would you like to see? I am curious because I'm always up for expanding it. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, have a good day, guys. Good luck. And I will um, probably announce this around... Um, saturday the 20th i think yeah saturday the 20th if, if person doesn't respond in 24 hours i will redraw um and i will probably put the results of who won either in um the video that's coming up on the next week or i'll put it probably on the um probably on the community section as well if you check there like on that saturday or sunday too um but yeah goodbye guys good luck Thank you.